sight to make a good calm man sick. Hey, Billy. You think they have more sense? Well, come on, let's get over with. Chief Herder. Miguel Yorba, senor. Uh-huh. Where are you from? The Rio Peñasco. More further south. You just turn around and go on back. I... I do not understand, senor. You understand. You savvy plenty. Uh, it's this way, viejo. Uh, this is cattle country around here, and your sheep will spoil the range. So you take your sheep, and vamos. Pronto. Uh, comprende? But pronto, he means three days. Three. Billy, I heard you were headed out this way. What's the trouble? There's no trouble, Patrick. We're just getting across the sheep herd. He can't keep his sheep here. Oh? Who says he can't? Well, I do. This is cattle country. It's also open range. There's no law that says you can't keep your sheep here if you want to. Si, senor. But, but Garrett. That's a sheep. Yeah. And he's got as much right to eat the grass here as a cow. All right, you boys, ride back now. Forget all about this. Patrick? Uh, you feeling all right? Why'd you ride out here with Maddox, Billy? You still working for Tumble? Yeah, I'm looking after his interests. They don't include sheep. What's eating him? That badge he's wearing. Now, who's Sam Hill elected him in the first place? Us cattlemen. Sheep are still sheep. <laughs> well, watching Garrett stick up for that that sheep herder today was like like watching an old friend die. No, oh, no, it ain't that bad yet, Mr. Maddock. Let's not bury Patrick until I've had a chance to talk some sense into it. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. Now, he's been one of us too long not to see that he's making a fool of himself. Right. And sheep is still sheep. Tell you everything you need. Tell him I said to take care of you. Gracias, Senor Garrett. Come on in, Billy. 
All right, out with it. You're so bottled up inside you, it's making your eyes bulge. Oh, I should know a short advance. <laughs> Make yourself to home. Uh, nobody's going to give up on no sheep just to make you happy, Patrick. Maybe they will to keep out of jail. Uh, Lincoln's cattle country, Patrick. You know what sheep do to the grass. Yoba has as much right to that range land as anyone else. But well, where's your loyalty? Billy, when I took this job, I swore to put the law first. Yeah, and I suppose you were elected to represent a sheep herder who just wandered in here out of his own territory? Well, maybe I was elected because enough people thought I might make a good lawman. Well, maybe you ought to stick to locking up drunks, Frederick. Keeping a peace. Well, how peaceful do you think it's going to be around here? Sheep keep coming on in Lincoln. Well, I got so many arguments. I'm running out of them fast. Billy, no amount of arguments can change a thing. All right. Mr. Burke cuts it. Sorry, I have to turn out this way. So am I. Look here, Patrick. Come here. You're just making trouble for them sheep in trying to force them in here. Let him through, fellas. Gracias, senor. What do you got in the sack, sheep herder? Harina. Flour, senor. You're lying. Why would I lie? It is flour. All sheep herders lie. You know, old man, if I cut your throat, you'd never lie again. I'm not lying, senor. I I'm speaking the truth. It is only flour. We'll see. Everybody, it was flour. <laughs> I guess you sheep herders is going to be a little short on tortillas this winter. <laughs> no, it's necessary, old viejo. Pay him for the flour. I'll pay him nothing. Pay him for the flour or he'll spend the next month in jail. Might have been an accident. A lot of us here testify to that. An accident, eh? That's right. My knife slipped. Yeah, you could have quite a lot of accidents with a sharp knife like that. Hey, what are you trying to do to me? You sure you don't want to pay Senior Yoba for his flour? Hey, watch it, mister. I'll have to lock you up for indecent exposure. Now get on in the store there, buy him another sack of flour, or you'll have a bad accident. Now load it in carefully. You break that sack open, you buy another one. Vaya con Dios, señor. Garrett? Hmm? Making that fellow look like a fool in front of that sheep herder is the worst thing he could do. Well, you didn't seem too worried about how he was making that sheep herder look. That's a different thing. We belong here and he don't. The law says he belongs. Now, look, let's not have trouble about this. You let one sheep herder in, the word gets around. First thing you know, he got over a hundred of them. That's their right. Garrett, this is cattle country. This is a cattle-built town. Cattle money paid for every stick of wood in these buildings, and your salary, too. Now, do you think that any one of us is going to stand by while you hand out the whole country to a bunch of sheep herders? Then you'd better elect a new sheriff next year. We're fighting for our lives. Our cattle starve. They can't graze where sheep have been grazing. We've got wives and kids, too. They'll starve. Lincoln County's got range land to spare. You know that. Now, you listen to me, Sheriff. 
I was 20 when I drove my first herd of Longhorns in here from Texas. Now, they was mostly cutbacks and scrubs, but it was a start. My wife and me built a cabin over on Wadi Creek. You can still see the stones from the fireplace that was there before the Comanches burned it down. Well, we drove the Comanches out. And we're going to drive the sheep herders out, too. Now, Sheriff, if you can't see things our way, there's one thing I want to ask you to do. Keep out of our way. Well, wait a minute. Now, personally, I don't care for sheep. I don't like the way they look, sound, or smell. Now, what I personally like or don't like has nothing to do with my job as sheriff of this county. I'm not on the side of sheep. And I'm not trying to go against the cattlemen. I'm my good friends. That's the last thing I want. And I'll stop anyone. No matter how good a friend. If he thinks he can go against this badge. down a level ground. Uh, well, no, wait, 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 now, come on, now, wait, don't be afraid, I'm kind of an expert in cases like this. I'm too heavy. Well, let me see. <laughs> well, I, uh, no bones broken here. He was nothing. I'd be all right now. Yeah. I'd better go. No, 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 I, uh, better not walk on it yet. No? Oh, no? oh, but it feels all right. There is no pain. See? Uh, uh, yeah, I see what... Uh, uh, well, let me tell you my name. It's uh, Bonnie, uh, William Bonnie. You mean Billy the Kid? El Chivato? Y yeah, you, uh, you heard something about me? Oh, see. Who was not? Well, I better go now. You know, wait, wait, wait. I, uh, I don't, uh, not sure. I don't know who you are. What are you doing wandering away out here on foot? Uh, you don't have anything to do with those sheep, do you? My name is Maria. My father is Miguel Yorba, the sheep herder. I was just looking for my little lost lamb. Well, what do you know? Huh? Oh, that's the little one. I better get him. You know, wait, wait a minute. Let me, uh... Let me get him for you. <laughs> Pobrecito. He's an orphan. He's no mama. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, it's kind of cute. <laughs> but uh, you'll never mount some more sheep. Uh-oh. Uh, you better... The way feelings are running, you better... You better hide behind these bushes back here till he leaves. What you say, Manic? I figured on seeing you out of Tundles, but you uh, saw your horse down the ravine. Yeah, I, uh, just looking around here for a stray calf, I thought, uh, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> well, this afternoon, we're gonna take care of the sheep herders. I knew you'd want to be with us. Oh, yeah, they, this afternoon. Uh, you got something else to do? Uh, no, no, not exactly, but I, I was... I could have swore I heard a sheep. What, uh, I, I didn't hear anything. What do you... Well, I not only hear them, I can, I can smell them. <laughs> Well, we're riding out there about four this afternoon. The sooner we get it over with, the better it'll be for everybody. See you out there. Yeah, okay, I'll, uh... uh now listen, Maria, none of that was my idea. You, uh, it's just that, uh, well, you know, sheep and cows don't mix around here. They... Well, they eat the roots of grass, you know that. Do they? Of course they do. Only if there is no other forage. Why, cattlemen in other places raise sheep. Yeah, well, this ain't other places. This is Lincoln County. I see. And is Lincoln County some special place put on earth just for the cattlemen? Yeah, no, but you gotta admit, they got here first. They got here first? 200 years ago, the descendants of Coronado settled this country. Yeah, well, why didn't the descendants of Coronado hang on to it then? Maybe it wasn't good enough for them. Maybe they wanted something better. Maybe they... Oh, oh wait, wait. Uh, uh, listen, Maria. I... Go away. No, I, I'm sorry, really. I... It is foolish of me to cry. But for years, I have heard my father speak of... of bringing his flocks north of the Rio Panasco. For the grass is good for the cattle, and the sheep also get fat. There is so much good land. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, Arla. It ain't going to be easy, but uh, let me see what I can do for you. Is that all right? Huh? Is that all right? Uh, if you'd been a cow, that couldn't have happened. County Ordinance 231, it shall be deemed unlawful for any adult male not gainfully employed to loiter about the confines of any county office. Yeah, well, you... Yeah. It'd be easier if you just locked me up. What's troubling you, Billy? Sheep. Oh. Sheep. What, uh... How am I supposed to know, Patrick, what's, what's right and what's wrong, right? Sheep destroy cattle grazing land, don't they? Billy, a plow breaking ground destroys grazing land, too. Yet a field of alfalfa will feed a lot more cows than grass ever would. And still, the cattlemen fought the coming of the settlers with plows. They could be wrong again. Well, all my life, I, I've been a cattleman. So I reckon I'm just supposed to hate sheep and the people that own them. Sounds to me like you've met Maria Yoma. Uh, yeah, I... But that ain't what's bothering me. Patrick, you ever... You ever hold a baby lamb? Uh, Billy, 
If you're asking me if you should back Maddox play... You mean you know what he's up to? I could guess. Which brings us back to you. Yeah, I reckon it does. Really, there comes a time when a man has to make up his mind. What's it going to be? I wish I knew. You could go back to Tundall's ranch, let Maddox finish it his own way, if he can. And the trouble is, Maddox could think I'd just be running out on him. So I reckon I, this is one time I've got to find my own answer. Be sure it's the right one, Billy. to think you wasn't going to make it, Billy. Uh, Mr. Maddock, I, uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I... Uh... So have we all, Billy. Yeah, it's a nasty business. I'll be glad when it's over with. Come on. See, Printer? I thought I told you three days. What's the matter? Didn't you believe me? There is nothing you can do to us. We are breaking the laws. There ain't no sheep herder going to bring any flock in here. Now, you and your family ain't going to be hurt. But all your sheep is going to be killed. No, no, senor. Now, just stand aside. We're going to drive all your sheep over Black Rock Cliff. And don't you ever try to come back here again. I'm sorry, Mr. Maddock, but there'll be no sheep killing today. What? Well, these uh, people got a right to be here. Nobody's killing their sheep. What's the matter? Garrett turn you into a mutton lover? I had nothing to do with it, Maddock. This is Billy's own idea. You tell him we was going to be here? No, uh, that was my idea. You boys have been neglecting your cattle lately. It's time you got back to work. All right. We'll leave. But you can't stay here 24 hours a day. How are you going to keep us from coming back and teaching them a lesson they've got to learn? Maddox, maybe it's you who needs the lesson. Oh? Now, you know, I've never met a man who could teach it to me. Well, I could bust you into little tiny pieces. Come on. Give me more pleasure. If I was you, I'd uh, quit right now, Mr. Manick. Oh. I ain't ever been whipped in my whole life. And I ain't gonna be. Manick, you whip right now. One of you are too bullheaded to admit it. You wanna know something, Garrett? I think you're right. Help me on my horse. <laughs> I still hate sheep. So folks never change, Patrick. This thing ain't settled yet. Turn it into a sheep man, Billy? Of course not. You're just a lamb here. Yeah. Who could hate a cute little critter like this? You know something? I never did see a kid who didn't take to a baby lamb right off. I wonder what would happen if Miguel here were to give a baby lamb to every cattleman who's got kids in his family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>